Hello, YouTubers. How are you today? I hope everyone is well today. Today, guys, I am making Gorilla Bread. And I know you guys have heard of Monkey Bread. Hello, guys. Uh, today, my mom is going to be making some Gorilla Bread. Yes, guys, Gorilla Bread, which is one of my son's favorites. I would make monkey bread all the time, but today we're going to upgrade with Gorilla Bread. And the only difference with Gorilla Bread and monkey bread, guys, is I have the grand big biscuits and monkey bread is made with the little biscuits. Okay, without further delay, let's get into this video, guys. I have cinnamon, brown sugar, granulated sugar. I have grand biscuits. I have a stick of butter, cream cheese, Pecans or pecans, wherever side of the neck of the woods you're from, how you say it. I have a cup of brown sugar that's going to go with my butter. I'm going to spray my pan down, guys, and we're going to make this awesome Gorilla Bread for you today. This is a crowd pleaser, and you guys are going to love it. All right, guys. I have my stick of butter in the pot, and I'm going in with a cup of brown sugar. Okay. This is what you want. We're going to mix this all together for our Gorilla Bread, guys. So we're going to mix that all up. And this will go into our Gorilla Bread. All right, guys. It's melted down. And your sugar is getting thick with your butter. See that? So you want to turn it off, just want it thick, very thick, okay? So we're going to put this at the, I'm going to go back to the table, guys, and let's make our Gorilla Bread. Let's make it up. All right. Want it smooth. Okay. If you like, you could use dark or light brown sugar. I have light sugar. Okay, let's go build up our Gorilla Bread. Okay, guys. Now, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure that you oil your pan up. Butter spray, but I prefer a non-stick oil. Okay, and make sure it's oiled very well all around just like this, okay? Now, we'll let that sit right there. And next, what you wanna do, I pop my biscuits off the camera, guys. I've washed my hands, and we're gonna flatten these babies down. Your biscuits are gonna be flattened straight down, just like this, okay? If you want to, use your rolling pin if you're not good at smashing. But all of them should be smashed down. Gorilla bread instead of your monkey bread. This is an old school recipe. Very old, guys. Like a classic. Okay? So what you want to do next is this. You want to take your cinnamon... And you want to put it all over your um, biscuits, just like this. Okay. Okay, and that's what you do. And then, because these are some big grand biscuits, so that's why we're making Gorilla. You want to take a piece of your cream cheese and put it in the middle. Okay, and you want to fold it just like this, guys. Okay, and then you're going to roll your ball up. Can you guys see that? See how I rolled it up? That's how you want to roll it. Put your cream cheese in just like that. Okay. So I'm going to roll these off. I'm going to show you one more time, okay? Put your cream cheese in. 
You can put also, guys, you can also use some chocolate chips, the white chocolate. You can put those in there also. But you want to fold it and roll it. Fold it. Spread it all around and roll it. This is going to be an awesome pleaser for your crowds. You can do this for Super Bowl too, guys. If you want to make some, you could do that also. Okay? Just want to make sure your cream cheese is in there. And you put it in there like that. Okay, guys? I'll be right back. I won't roll them all on camera. I'll be right back. All right, guys, now, here's where you come in with your sugar, granulated sugar. You want to put some granulated sugar in a bowl, just like that. And then you want to take some of your cinnamon and mix it in there also, okay? And you just want to mix this around together. Now, it comes up to you. If you don't, if you can't have pecans or pecans, walnuts, you don't have to use them, guys. You do not have to use them, okay? What you want to do now is, if you're going to use your nuts, this is where you come in with them. This is where you come in. Don't need a whole lot. This is optional. You don't have to use them. I just love them, okay? And we're going to take our sauce and put some in the bowl, just like that, guys. And we're going to drop in our ball, just like that, with your cream cheese. So we're going to put our biscuits in over those nuts, and we're going to go all the way around it, just like this. Can you guys see that? So we have it in there just like that. And then we want to drop some of this on there like this. Okay? Okay. And then you're going to take that sugar and cinnamon and you're going to drop some on each one of them just like this, guys. Okay, and I'm going to put some more nuts on the top of it, just a little bit. I don't know if Raylan is a nut lover either, guys, but I love pecans, okay? And then we're going to repeat our step by doing this, guys. What we're going to do next is this, we're going to take... I'm going to let Raylan pop this open because I'm not doing it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, Raylan opened up the biscuits. I started smashing them. Same steps. Just do it over again. Smash your biscuits down or use your rolling pin, whichever you want to do, guys. It's up to you how you want to do it. But smash them down. You're repeating those same steps that we did with the first biscuits. You're going to put your cinnamon on your donuts again. Oh, God, I call them donuts. Okay. So we're just putting that cinnamon back on there. Okay, guys. This is an easy recipe. If you want to, put the kids in the kitchen and let them make them, guys. Okay. Now we're going to put our cream cheese back in there again. I think that one is cheated. We're going to put a little more cinnamon on there. Okay. Put that cinnamon in there like that, guys. Just like this. I'm going to roll them back up. Each one of them. I'm going to roll it.
and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got these all rolled up, and then we're going to do the same steps again for our Gorilla Bread here. We're just going to put them in, just like that. I know some of you know this by Ooey Gooey Bread also. That's also a name that they used. We're going to do those same steps over again, guys. And we're going to take this, and we're going to put it all the way around. I'm going to use this up on here just like this. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Is the camera on there? Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put this rest of this in there just around. Okay. And then I'm going to put some more nuts on the top. You're going to put this in the oven, 350 to 375, depending on your oven, guys, and let it bake for 35 minutes, okay? All right, when I come back, our Gorilla Bread will be ready, guys, and I'll let you guys taste it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is what we got. This is our Gorilla Bread. 30 minutes of cooking, guys. What you want to do is you want to make sure you go around it. You don't want to let it sit a long time. You want to bring it on out. But go around and pray that you bring it out successfully. <laughs> okay? So what you want to do is you want to take your plate and put it over. And you want to flip it over, guys. That's what you want to do. Pray, pray that you brought it out good, guys. That's what you want to do. You want to pray that you did it. That's what you want to do. Whoa, voila. Look at that. Okay. It's a lot of nuts, guys. Okay. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to taste it. But that's what it's looking like. We're pretty gooey-ooey under here, and this is our Gorilla Bread. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment, guys. This is going to be very fun to eat, guys. Do you see the glaze melting on there? All right, guys. Have a great day. See you on my next video. Voila! Bye-bye.